Well, hey there, everybody. This is Stabby Narwhal. We're playing Double Decker. This is the second map of the first DLC, Fire and Water. And, uh... We got these two doors. One's down here. And one's way up there. There's no teleport portal or anything. We have to walk all the way up there. So, we're not gonna... We're not actually gonna do that. We just want to stay up there the entire game, because it takes way too long to get back up there. Now... That's the goal. Um, we need to take care of this bottom side. And to do that, we're just going to push everything off the edge. And this will take care of everything except for the trolls and ogres. Not the trolls, but the gnolls. And uh, we're just going to put down some spikes. These are pretty weak. They don't actually kill the waterlings. So we don't have to worry about the elementals building up. And uh, they got the slow on them, so that's going to... You know, snare them and keep them in front of the push traps. Push traps are extended, as you can see, so they come up to the second tile. Minecart should take care of the third one. And if they get back up here, they'll start running around the corner and hit the trap anyway. Now, let's head up top. I'm not using the, uh, the tar just because I feel like doing something a little different, so. And use the spikes. Alright, let's get this thing started. We got the wind belt, and we're gonna push everything off here. And I'm just gonna turn around this corner, wait for the knoll, and push! Oh, I missed. Now, the key is you want to kill the waterlings off in the void. You do not want to actually. Let me take this guy out first. You actually don't want them to kill up here, otherwise they will build up. Let's push everything off. We have the mana rage if we need it, so... Got the grenadier there, so watch out. You can grab him. Just throw him off the edge. Watch out for the knoll. We're going to just turn around here and headshot him. Or you can stun him in front of the push trap. Oh, wow. Don't die on me. I kept dying, so I actually brought the um, healing trinket. Run down here. Quickly put down three traps and run back up. Do not wait around, otherwise you will run out of time. And I actually might be late. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Alright, we made it. You just need to get those three spike traps down and you should be fine. Get out of here. He always seems to run past me. Got another one, though. See, they don't even... They, they gotta be bugged. They don't swipe at me. But uh, anyway, just get two of these mushrooms down. That's for the troll. Or, excuse me, the ogre. Push those off, stun him, headshot him really fast. I'm going to get a de decoy up because that is probably the best thing at this point. Now's a good time to use a mana rage if you need. Which we will use. Take these guys out as fast as you can. I gotta pop the because I need help and I don't want to die. Just keep these guys back. You could put down a mushroom if you really wanted to, and that actually might uh, be better than actually bring him back here. So, do what you need to do. Make sure if you kill this guy here. Nothing is behind them. Otherwise, the water will stack up and create the elementals. That's not what we want. Let's go ahead and get two mushrooms up. Try not to get these uh, heavies on them, though. 
Save the mushrooms for the, the trolls and the ogres. Or the gnolls and the ogres. You know what I mean, guys. But if they have to be charmed, it's okay. Why is this not being headshot? Ah, I charmed the wrong one. Interesting. Oh, I think one got through. Forget to put another uh, mushroom down, so if that happens, just jump down here and headshot him. Listen to the audio cues, they'll help you out. I'm going to beef up this side here. Let's probably get a. Let's put more spikes down. And mushroom here and here, and. I know it's misplaced, but oh well. It's all pretty hectic. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, let's finish this. Get that corner so they don't actually. Now, potions are pretty rare on this map, so don't count on them. But if you find one, go ahead and use them. I should say they're rare with this setup because we're pushing everything off the edge, so we don't really get any drops. And let's get the decoy up for when that ogre dies. Now we can just focus up here. And this will be all downhill from now. Just gonna fill in those things. I kinda want that coin. Hmm, let's go get the coin. Quickly run back up. Now we are going to get a pretty good low score using this strategy, so it's not the greatest, but this is a five score run, so... getting any combos. There's a five. He had the spike, the snare, the push trap, the wind belt, and the death by falling off the cliff. As you can see, this is pretty weak up here. Just a matter of keeping the elementals from actually not building up. Or from building up. Stun him. Dead. That ogre has not done a thing. Huh. These mushrooms are probably worthless. Some more uh, flip, flip traps. Let's do that actually. And you are going off the cliff. Still there. Not doing a thing. I don't want to go down there. I could go down there and help push those guys off. Get more points, but I don't want to climb all the way back up here. I really don't. Besides, we have a bunch of uh, ogres coming out, so let's go ahead and take these guys out as soon as we can. We got armored ogre, too. Oh, no coin? What? Get off my cliff. What 
rather have them be charmed, actually. So let's just clear these guys out. There we go. Hey, he's doing something. All right, that's, we're done up here. That coin is here. Now we can head down here and... No, you don't. Oh, I was going to kill you. Off, off. What are you doing? There you go. Five skulls. That's terrible score, though. Look at that. So low. But we really rushed that time. That's awesome. Perfect victory. Let's see where we are. 272. Not very good. Okay. But uh, we were going for the scores. Just five. The score. We're going for the five schools. Well, let's double decker. Uh, five schools. See you. See you next map, guys. Thanks for watching.